Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's one the video for the Sunday morning, February the 2nd. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray in Birmingham. Bill, no relation, our local groundhog out at the Birmingham Zoo, probably seeing his shadow this morning, getting scared back into his burrow and uh, setting us up for six more weeks of winter. But you won't be able to tell it by this forecast. Let's get started with the upper air pattern across the United States. Trough over the eastern part of the country. Another trough approaching the west coast in the middle. A big ridge will be sandwiched there, amplifying over the next couple of days leading to a nice warm-up for much of the central part of the country, including us here in Alabama starting today. Upper 50s to near 60 across eastern parts of the state this afternoon. Lower 60s in the I-65 corridor. Uh, portions of Alabama west of I-65 in the middle and upper 60s. Uh, they'll even see 70 parts of eastern Mississippi today. Going to be a beautiful day, lots of sunshine. Tomorrow, another gorgeous day. We'll start off in the 40s. Uh, and then uh, a good bit of sunshine to begin the day, increasing clouds as we move through the day, another low forming to the west of us, setting the stage for a potential severe weather outbreak. We could see a shower in Alabama before midnight tomorrow night. Better chance after midnight, good batch of rain uh, moves into the state, and uh, rain will continue for much of Monday night into good bit of the day on Tuesday. This is Tuesday afternoon. Uh, that first low is uh, moving on past the second low forming to the west. This will be the one that has the potential to bring severe weather to Alabama. Arklatex, parts of Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi in the threat of severe weather on Tuesday, and that threat will be moving toward us on Wednesday as that surface low pushes to our north, pushing a strong cold front our way. Uh, we'll deal with some uh, strong, well not strong, moderate Surface instability, Cape values running over a 1,000 joules per kilogram. If you watch this video very frequently, you know that's sufficient for strong thunderstorm updrafts. And we certainly won't be short on wind shear. This is the 850 millibar jet, 6 p.m. Wednesday night, screaming there out of southern Mississippi, uh, across western Alabama into uh, central Tennessee, uh, pushing as fast as 60 knots. And, of course, that sets the stage for damaging wind and the potential for a few tornadoes. Now, the SPC does and has for several days had us outlooked uh, for severe weather. It's in uh, the National Weather Service Birmingham's products, and uh, so we'll deal with that. The general threat area is expected to be uh, along and south of I-20. General time frame, 3 p.m. Wednesday to 3 a.m. Thursday morning. And again, the main threats, damaging winds, a few isolated, well, maybe not isolated, but a few tornadoes possible. And uh, we'll be watching that. Now, lots of inconsistency among the models. It's hard to say exactly how the system will evolve. We'll know a lot more as we go through the next couple of days. It's really hard to tell till you get out to about two and a half days, uh, you know, to get a real handle on what's going to happen. And it's something that we're going to be watching very closely. Now, as that first uh, that wave of severe weather goes by, a third low-pressure system forms near the Alabama Gulf Coast, moves to the northeast. It could be strong enough to uh, keep us in rain much of the day on Thursday. We'll be watching that situation very carefully. The European, which I've been using basically to model what I think is going to happen for this forecast, uh, for the purposes of this video, shows a few light showers left over Alabama Thursday night. But I think we're going to have to watch the GFS's latest depiction on the Zero Z run last night showing uh, some snow. Uh, northern Mississippi, northwestern Alabama into central Tennessee. I think that's a real possibility if uh, things turn just a shade colder than the European is thinking. We'll be watching that on the backside of the low. Not a forecast, just a possibility at this time. Plenty of time to watch it over the next several days, well, next few days, as we go through the week ahead. Now, Rain, you know, ends Thursday, maybe that wintry mischief Thursday night, but uh, Thursday uh, will give way to Friday under uh, uh, an increasingly sunny sky and temperatures generally in the 50s uh, on uh, on Friday, uh, even a few low 60s uh, to the south of us, so not really a big uh, cold system coming in behind it, but it does look like another fast-moving uh, uh, almost clipper type system will move through on Saturday, bringing us another chance of showers. We'll watch for that. Sunday uh, features clearing and slightly cooler conditions. Now we uh, shoot out to Voodoo Land. This is Wednesday evening, the 12th of February. Another 
look of strong to possibly severe thunderstorms, low pressure over southern Illinois, rain and thunderstorms into Alabama, and it's getting to be that time of year when we have to watch every system. Temperatures off the GFS, uh, showing those uh, 60s over the next uh, couple days into midweek. little cool down as we get into the end of the week. Uh, Thursday, or it looks like Thursday night, Friday morning, the coldest day, according to Jeffus. I can buy that. But look, more 60s, even a few 70s thrown in in the longer range there in that uh, following week. These are uh, 16-day rainfall totals off the GFS, uh, showing some generous amounts across Alabama. Uh, lots of one and a half, two, two and a half, three inch amounts going to be possible. So we don't believe you, Birmingham Bill. Even though you say six more weeks of winter, we think the next two weeks will be quite nice across Alabama. And uh, keep an eye on the severe weather threat for middle of the week. Also, that possibility of some wintry mischief. We'll keep a close eye on that. And until this time next week, when I sit in this same chair, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.